Alrighty folks, we're back with another slightly different video. And as you can see in this video, we're gonna be talking about our North Scott tractor rigs that we have. Now I did get all these as a set and it is made by uh, North Scott, okay? These are 2008 uh, edition and I'm gonna go over pros and cons of what I've just purchased in this lot. Of course they came from eBay and I'm pretty much satisfied with the price, but before we get in that, I want to talk to you guys about a video I was watching earlier today. Guys, if you're a rail fan, if you're into trains like I am, um, love train layouts and everything that you like to do with train layouts, if you haven't seen this video yet, it's called Train Hopping the Rocky Mountains 2021 on the tube. Um, I strongly recommend go and check that video out. It's a, I think it's a 45 minute video. And this guy gets on to uh, UP, just like the one I have, even with the rolling, with, with the, even with the flying flag the way I have, he gets on a UP uh, Union Pacific like that. He jumps into the back of a hopper car and he rides along that long locomotive while that locomotive is chugging through tunnels, through long grass prairie lands, through mountains i mean it's just an awesome video i'm assuming he he must work for the up line because i mean he was even jumping into the rear engine of that um locomotive i was astounded i i didn't watch the whole thing i had to go do some stuff but what i watched of about 15 20 minutes of it was just it was awesome but anyways i wanted to get that to you guys um if you have great y'all understand what i'm talking about and it and especially if you're a rail fan and you um you want to do a layout or you're doing a layout that's going to give you some scenery ideas to add i mean a lot of a lot of your train layouts you see they put tunnel portals for example on their portals going to like a mountain on that video in real life i mean this this train is just going through a hole in the mountain you, you have to check it out guys to see what i'm talking about they even had, in fact, I can't stop talking about it. They even had a point, a part, a part on that uh, rail line where on that rail line, they have, it's in the open and the wind comes pushing really, really, really hard against their box cars. So what they did, they put like, let's say it right here, they put a bunch of hoppers like this, like some old hoppers in line, so when the wind comes, it acts as a barrier so it wouldn't hit their train. Oh, look, that's, that's a lovely video, guys. You're gonna have to go check it out and see what I'm talking about. So, three minutes of rambling about that. Let's talk about our North Scott equipment I just received. So these three rigs, in fact, this last one isn't in the shot. Okay, so these three construction rigs that I've got, and if y'all know me, and y'all watch my videos on, the, on my construction videos, y'all know I love construction. Um, these three I got was in a lot on eBay. Um, they, it was maybe a little pricey with the shipping. Uh, I'll tell you what I gave for it. I gave 140 bucks for this lot. I paid a little bit more to get the lot, and, and I, I'm happy with it, okay? Um, the pros is I got it. I got the machines kind of in a bundle and I have them here and they're ready to go. The cons on it is I thought the rigs along with the trailers would be die cast and at least have some rubber wheels. They're not, it's all plastic. This whole thing is plastic except for the bodies of these construction equipment. So for example, this right here is another con on this little um, track hoe here. The tracks don't move, it's all plastic, it's all molded into one. Um, the boom doesn't move. I mean, the, cylind the cylinders doesn't move in and out, but what you expect is it's a smaller machine, right? Um, it doesn't have a ram on top and the bucket don't move. So other than just sitting there looking pretty on a layout and on the back of a machine, hey, we got it for scenery, right? Um, I like the little machine. I, I'm sure this is a collector's item. It's, it's a hot little machine, I believe. Um, again, it's, it's very well detailed, but it has its movement perks, you know? So that does it for the little Traco I purchased. The loader, one of my favorite machines. Um, beast of a machine. This is like a, 
This is like that one you see on AliExpress. It's in an RC model, but of course it's 187. Those of y'all that are wondering. Uh, again, it's die cast, uh, plastic top wheels, no rubber, um, fixed. It's a static bucket along with static. You know, we don't have no rams or nothing in there. But other than that, love the little machine. It's gonna work well for, if I do like a Caterpillar dealership or something, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Or if I'm either hauling dirt or what I'm, you know, whatever scene I'm trying to create, that's gonna work perfect for that. So again, the trucks are low quality, low grade made. Um, again, I think they have their place in a collector's market because of it's a 2008 edition. Um, again, that's why I bought them for the lot, especially. Now the little dozer, y'all all know me, I love little dozers. Um, Blade moves back and forth. As you can see, die cast body. Again, some plastic parts like the windows and the little the air condition back here or whatnot. But, and again, fixed tracks. I gotta do some detailing in here to kind of make it look more, a little bit more realistic. But when you're playing with 187 HO scale, um, that's what you have to sacrifice. So putting that, those machines against that Union Pacific there, it's pretty much realistic against that locomotive. I mean, it might be a tad small, but it's good enough for my scale, okay? So we got small workings of a little fleet here. All right, it's not much, but it's something that is gonna get the motivation going, get things rolling so we can finish our line out and putting our bridge and looping the main line in and start slowly working on scenes so guys the rain's about to start it's gonna get loud in here so I, I, I didn't think i was gonna make a video today but this stuff came in and hell i made a video so go check that video out please like and subscribe and i'll catch you again.